Welcome to today's five-minute Bible study in the book of Daniel. We're concluding our look at Daniel chapter 3. We've been in this chapter a couple of days observing God's miraculous deliverance of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego from the fiery furnace. And today we want to ask ourselves the question, who was the fourth man? Remember, Nebuchadnezzar the king had thrown the three Hebrew young people into the fire because they refused to worship his idol. But then he looked in and saw a fourth man with him. Verse 25, he says, Look, I see four men walking around in the fire. They are unbound, they are unharmed, and the fourth looks like a son of God. And then when Nebuchadnezzar calls Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to come out, they come out of the fiery furnace unharmed, but only the three come out. The fourth does not. He is gone. Who was the fourth man? The one that looked like a son of God. In verse 28, Nebuchadnezzar says again, Praise be to the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who has sent his angel and rescued his servants. So Nebuchadnezzar thought it was an angel. He identified this fourth man as an angel from the Most High God sent to rescue Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Was it an angel? Well, obviously it was a supernatural being. Was it an angel or was there more here than just an angel? Now, any visitation of an angel is a miraculous moment when God sends one of his heavenly messengers. But is this passage more than just an angel? I think it may be. Now, oftentimes in the Old Testament, you come across the phrase, the angel of the Lord. And depending on the context, often when it says the angel of the Lord, it means more than just an angel. There's more indicated than just an angel. Let me give you a couple of examples. First in Genesis chapter 48, where Jacob, as an old man, is blessing his grandsons by Joseph. He's now living in Egypt where Joseph is. Joseph is prime minister. And in giving this blessing to his grandsons, he talks about the angel. Now, he's referencing that famous resting match. You remember a year before when he was coming back to the land of Canaan? And the day before he was to meet Esau, he was afraid, and he spent the night wrestling with a messenger from God, an angel, it seems. His hip was torn out of joint, and he asked the angel for a blessing. The famous resting match of Jacob. But later on, he references that angel and indicates it was more than just an angel. More was going on than just an angelic visitation. Notice what he says in this blessing. We're in chapter 48, verses 15 and 16. Jacob blesses Joseph and his grandson and says, May the God before whom my fathers Abraham and Isaac walked faithfully, the God who has been my shepherd all my life to this day, the angel who has delivered me from all harm. He's obviously referring to that angel he wrestled with. He says, May the God before whom my fathers walked, the God who's been my shepherd, the angel who has delivered me from all harm, may he bless these boys. Did you notice that? He talks about God, and then he talks about the angel, and then he says, May he bless these boys. In other words, he identified the angel as being God. He identified the angel as as being God. Because he said, may God and may the angel, may he, singular, bless these boys. And then look at also in Exodus chapter 3, this is the famous scene of Moses and the burning bush. Notice what it says in verse 3 of chapter 3. Moses has seen this bush on fire that was not consumed by the flames, and there the angel of the Lord appeared to him in flames of fire from within a bush. Notice that phrase, the angel of the Lord appeared to him. But a few verses later in verse 4 it says, When the Lord saw that he had gone over to look, God called to him from within the bush, Moses, Moses. And Moses said, Here I am. Notice it says that within the bush is the angel of the Lord and also the Lord. But they're both God. What I'm saying is this. When you see that phrase often in the Old Testament, the angel of the Lord, it is an appearance in the Old Testament of Jesus, the Son of God, who is God. So the, the angel of the Lord in those kind of contexts indicates an appearance of Jesus, who is God. That's why Jacob could say in Genesis 48, God, 
and the angel. May he bless these boys. Okay, now apply that to Daniel chapter 3. Nebuchadnezzar said there's an angel in there. He's right, but it is the angel of the Lord. In other words, it's Jesus. God himself, in the person of the Son, a pre-incarnate appearance of Jesus, has come to rescue Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. You see, Jesus does appear in the Old Testament at times. And I believe Daniel chapter 3 is one of those moments when the Son of God, the angel of the Lord, comes and walks with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and delivers them from harm in the fiery furnace. What a moment this was. And what an assurance it is to us that when we are in difficult times, we can be sure that Jesus is always with us. Amen and amen. You have a great day. I hope you'll join us next time for our five-minute Bible study in the book of Daniel.